by a federal government has agreed with the cement manufacturers on the modalities to tackle the escalating price of cement in Nigeria. This was the outcome of the meeting of the Honorable Minister of Works, His Excellency Senator Engineer and Weather David Umahi Cohen, the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment. Dr. Doris Uzoka Adite, the Cement Manufacturers and the Cement Producers Association. A meeting held close to the office of the Honorable Minister of Works, Mabushi Abuja, had in attendance the representatives of Dangote Cement PLC, Boa Cement PLC, Lafarge Africa PLC, and Cement Producers Association. In their separate remarks, the Honorable Minister of Works said the meeting was aimed at addressing the concerns of Nigerians on the escalating cost of cement in Nigeria, marked by the disparities between the ex factory price and the market price of cement. He expressed hope that the meeting would provide an enduring solution to the unabating increase in cement price. So, we have a court you know, for this meeting to find out why, and from security reports, the ex factory price do increased uh, to a point of uh, concern uh, still has a very wide margin to that of the the market prices and so we would like to find out you know what are the ex you know factory prices before the this sudden increase and what are the market prices you know as at now and whether you have control of the market prices and also to find out what can we do uh, both today and going forward. Also in her remarks, the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment said it was worrisome that the price of cement was surging despite her ministry's regulatory policies and a backward integration program BIP introduced to manage cement price and development and expressed surprise that the whole idea of the BIP on the management and development of cement manufacturing industry is not bearing the desired fruit. We are very concerned about the surging prices in everything including cement and for us um, the ministry regulates the development of cement and you were one of the backward integration pilot schemes that was uh, initiated by the ministry and uh, we think that cement sector is actually a success story of the BIP but to our own also shock we saw that despite the cement most of the components being sourced and produced locally we are seeing your prices going up and even surging. And it was also important for us to call you back to the table to understand from different points of view. Uh, one, why is this surging given the fact that your the whole idea of having cement and giving the BIP the push in cement production was to ensure that we could manage prices and manage the development of the sector. A communique was issued after the meeting and was read by the Honorable Minister of Works as contained in the following appendix. The two Honorable Ministers also used the opportunity to reassure Nigerians that the renewed help administration of His Excellency President Asuachu Ahmed Bolatinibu GCFR is committed to addressing economic challenges facing the country and shall leave no stone unturned in addressing the escalating prices of commodities, including the price of cement in Nigeria. Confirming the communique as a true reflection of their deliberations, the spokespersons today, cement manufacturers and the Cement Producers Association thanked the two honorable ministers for their sense of devotion to the cause of national development and expressed their confidence their timely intervention of the federal government to the challenges facing cement manufacturing in Nigeria. The spokesperson of Dangote Cement PLC and Group Managing Director CEO, Mr. Avind Patak, added. I'm working and uh, I'm very happy to state that our new ministers were very patient. They gave us a kind hearing and have agreed for a window of 30 days in which we will reassemble and see how fast we can move on that. The spokesperson of Bua Cement PLC and Group Executive Director, Mr. Kabiru Rabiu, said. And another thing that I need to also add is that Bua is committed to bringing an additional 6 million tons of cement in the next few weeks. And that will seriously dampen the pressure of supply in the market 
I will continue to commit to this engagement. Uh, we agree to resemble again in 30 days to assess the situation. The spokesperson to Lafarge Africa PLC and Commercial Director Mr. Benga Onimowo said. Um, honestly, this link was um, the challenges that we all face as manufacturers. I think uh, we appreciate that. And we do look forward to uh, the solutions coming, the support that we will give within the next coming days. The president of Cement Producers Association, Prince David Aweta, added. Uh, I am actually here to advocate for the six other players to join in the industry because practically we can feel that uh, the operators in the cement industry at uh, the moment is so few and that is why we're having this perennial problem of uh, cement uh, you know high particularly at dry season details of the communique are as follows Missing of cement manufacturers, Dangote Cement PLC, Boa Cement PLC, Lavage Africa PLC, and Cement Producers Association with the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Doris Zok Anite, the Honorable Minister of Works, Senator Engineer Nweze David Umahin CON, held at the office of the Honorable Minister of Works, Mabushi Abuja, on Monday, 19th day of February 2024. One, the meeting noted the challenges of the manufacturer like cost of gas, high import duty on spare parts, bad road network, high foreign exchange, and smuggling of cement to neighboring nations. Two, the government noted the challenges and reacted as fellows. Federal Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment to seek remedies from Mr. President on cost of gas and import duties. Federal Minister of Works to give more attention to fixing of the rails, especially around the locations of the manufacturers. On the issue of smuggling cement, the Federal Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment is to deepen the already started engagement with the National Security Advisor on how to stop the smuggling. Three, the cement manufacturers and the government noted that the the current high price of cement is abnormal in some locations nationwide. A daily cement retail prices should not cost more than 7,000 to 8,000 naira a 50 kg bag of cement. Therefore, the three cement manufacturers, Dangote Cement PLC, Boa Cement PLC, and Lafarge Africa PLC, have agreed the cement cost will not be more than 7,000 to 8,000 naira per 50 kg bag depending on the location. Four, going forward, government advised cement manufacturers to set up a price monitoring mechanism to ensure compliance and manufacturers have willingly accepted to do so and to sanction any of our distributors or retailers find one thing. Government expects the agreed price to drop after securing government's intervention on the challenges of the manufacturers on gas, import duty, smuggling, and better road network. The meeting agreed to reconvene in 30 days to review progress made. Signed by Honorable Barrister Oji Uche Naoji, Special Advisor Media to the Honorable Minister of Works.